Here, look, I saw you. No, I saw you. All the lights. I saw you. All the lights. They want us to do a little introduction for UWA ringmasters. Bombshell Billy, Devastating Derek. Soon to be tag team champions of the whole world universe, for that matter. Again. 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 Let me tell you something, UWA ringmasters, you're watching it right now. The first show on your cable vision. Well, let me tell you something. I'll give you a little history of the UWA. Give you some of the stars around around the uh, the alliance, if you will. From Scotty McCloud, the War Eagle, the Mark Stag, Thunder Tiger, the Mystic, MOB, Disco Kid, Metal Bob, our mentor. And of course, Hard and Heavy, Devastating Derek, Bombshell Billy. We're not messing around when we tell you the competition's rough and tough here in the UWA. If you don't like it, if you can't hack it, you're not allowed in the door, Jack. Let me tell you this. Bombshell Billy, Devastating Derek have been around the world, so they asked us, they said, guys, of course we consider ourselves the franchise of the Federation. <laughs> because Lord knows, they don't have a lot of money. Oh, no. It's not WWF. Oh, no. It's not WCW. No clowns, no monster trucks. No, no, no. It's more along the lines of old-time Georgia Championship wrestling. You remember that? Gordon Sully. Uh-uh. The UWA Center is where it all happens. It's a small athletic club. If you're lucky enough to be one of the 30, 40 fans that get in that ring, to get in that door, you're very lucky. It's not a big, huge, elaborate ring. It's a nice, old-style studio ring. That's what we grew up on watching and now as we mature in this business we make our way in a ring just like that a small dingy little athletic club just like our small little dingy gym right down here in our basement let me tell you something he hit the nail right on the head when he said we don't make a lot of money here we travel around the independence to japan mexico all these different places to make our money we come here because this is top notch competition here in the uwa united wrestling alliance you're not going to get anything by pulling that up with your hands i'm just checking to make sure that the bearings are in properly uwa ringmasters is the oh, show to watch on your cable vision right now because it's the thing that's happening and it's the thing that strives on competition you got the war eagle great native the, american athlete the disco kid Flashy, dancing, high flyer. Mark Stagg, who's probably behind us has been in the Federation just a little bit shorter time, but he's been here forever. Incredible work back at Ethic. Workaholic. Recently won his first title here in the UWA. Proud, proud Italian American. Hard and heavy, of course. We'll get to us later because mm -hmm. we love to talk about ourselves. <laughs> Scotty McCloud. Phil Pig. El Diablo Blanca. Phil Pig. Man that I brought into the Federation, El Diablo Blanca. I brought him into because he's from the streets. We're from the streets of New York City. He was from the streets of South Central LA. So I brought him in as our brother, our hoodie. And what's he do? He turns on me so we can have, so we can get my world title. No, 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 my young friend. No, it doesn't work that way when hard and heavy's around. Slap the tapes out of your mouth. Scotty McCloud, for a former European heavyweight champion. Technical athlete. Technical skill. He gets in the ring with Bombshell Billy and Devastating Derek. He's a technical mess. Let me tell you something. Scotty McCloud, you got a big match coming up with Devastating Derek for the heavyweight. You're looking at the heavyweight champion of the world right here. He's working out. you got to keep the arms off the bar here. So it'll help the legs a little more. I want to tell you something. something. Like it wasn't greased properly. That's, that's all. Well, we won't go into that. But let me tell you this. Now, you want to take on Scotty McCloud, you got to get in there with tactical wrestling because that man is a master. Well, you know that. I wrestled in Japan. You wrestled in Japan. I wrestled in Mexico. I wrestled in Mexico. Let me tell you something, Scotty McCloud. My man's been working, and you better watch out, because he's got a Greco-Roman pile driver that's going to knock you on your butt. What's that to say? I don't know. M.O.B.? M.O.B. is a master of brutality, a big, hulking man. But you don't mess around. He says he can't be seen. He can't be heard. John Walsh is out looking for him or something. Today on this very program, you're going to see a rematch between M.O.B. and Mark Stagg. Mark Stagg won that Intercontinental Television title from M.O.B. Master of Brutality. Master of Brutality. And tonight you're going to see, a not, if it's anything like the first match, I was there, I was in Mark Stagg's corner. If it's anything like the first match, fans, strap yourselves in, it's going to be incredible. Let's talk about the World Tag Team Champions right now. Speaking of Scotty McLeod and El Diablo Blanca. Mm -hmm. 
a team that you would never believe could team up together to win the World Tag Team title. But Bob Shaw Billy was injured, so I had to pick myself a partner. So I asked Mark Stagg, and me and Mark Stagg have had our differences in the past. Bob Shaw Billy and Mark Stagg have had our, our, their differences in the past, but he came to my rescue. And that night, after Mark Stagg and I wrestled a one-hour time limit drop, and we were one exhausted. One hour. The commissioner made us put those titles on the line, right then and there. So I asked Mark Stagg, and he said, yeah, I'll be your partner. I just wrestled you for an hour. We're bloody messes. But I'll be your partner, devastating Derek. And he was my partner for a brutal match, and we put up one hell of a fight. But in the end, I got pinned. I'll admit it. I got pinned. But after wrestling an hour bombshell, I just couldn't do it myself. So now we're the tag team champions. El Diablo Blanca, Scotty McCloud don't get along too well, but they're united in one thing. They hate us. That's right. And we hate that. R&R, &R, Scotty McCloud, and El Diablo Blanca, royalty and rubbish. And gentlemen, and I use that term loosely, the Greco-Roman pile driver's coming your way, Scotty McCloud. He's been working on it. Let's see. I'll see some pile driver. Greco-Roman pile driver moves. There it is. Bring it down. There you go. There you go. Greco-Roman pile driver. Bombshell Billy, devastating Derek. We consider ourselves the franchise of the UWA United Wrestling Alliance. Yes, sir. I forgot to tell you something. What? And I forgot to tell you, Scotty McCloud. You see, in your anxiousness to get my world title, you signed yourself a contract. Well, Metal Pop put something in that contract, Bombshell. He put in that contract that in order for him, Scotty McCloud, to get a title shot against me, the very next night, we get a tag team title match. Uh -huh. El Diablo Blanca and Scotty McCloud. <laughs> R&R, with that in mind, we got big problems because the gold's coming back to hard and heavy. Bombshell Billy and Devastating Derek, the Greco-Roman pile driver is going to put you down on Saturday. And Sunday you're going to rise again to fall again. Bye-bye, boys. UWA ringmasters, they came to us hard and heavy to tell you about it. Now you know about it. Sit back and relax. It's coming at you. Bring it up. Come on. Hands down. Hands down. No, I got a little tunnel match. Hands down. Welcome to United Wrestling Alliance. Uh, excuse me, Ringmasters used to be All Star Wrestling this week inaugural show. Ringmasters. I am Johnny Kilgood. I am alongside my broadcast partner, Vance Johnson. Vance, great to be here, Johnny. I am so excited for the first show of UWA Ringmasters, and what a match to start it off. Scotty McCloud getting his shot at the UWA Heavyweight Championship. Devastating Derek Holt. This is going to be a fantastic match. Mortal enemies. How's that going to affect uh, Devastating Derek coming into this world? I think it's going to affect him in the positive, Johnny, because he's wrestled him enough, he knows his moves, he knows his weaknesses, but you got to watch out for that little rat at ringside, El Diablo Blanca. Well, uh, recently uh, we caught up with Devastating Derek. He had some choice words uh, speaking of this match and uh, speaking on uh, a couple other subjects when it comes to Scotty McCloud. Let's get to that right now. Uh, fantastic comments by the world champion, Devastating Derek. Scotty McCloud, this has gone back a long, long way. We fought in Europe for the European Heavyweight title. And now we're bringing that feud over here to the States for the World Heavyweight title. Doesn't mean anything right now, Scotty. You, El Diablo Blanca, your partner, MOB, you've all jumped on me one too many times. Well, it's all over tonight. You see, I'm the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion of the United Wrestling Alliance. With that comes honor and prestige. This is the greatest trophy right here in all of wrestling, if you ask me. And I've wrestled everywhere. I've wrestled in Mexico. I've wrestled in Japan. I've wrestled in the UK. But nothing is like the UWA. It's where the misfits, and it's where the athletes of wrestling get to go. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the belt's a little beat up, but it's 10 years old. 10 years of great champions have held this belt. Now devastating Derek holds this belt. One half of hard and heavy. I have my partner in my corner, my friend. 
So you have Diablo Blanca in your corner. Any outside interference, Bombshell Billy will certainly take care of you. Tonight, the UWA World Heavyweight title is contested between two mortal enemies. I'm from, I'm from England, y'all know that. My family's from England. I was born in the U.S., the first generation born in the U.S., my whole family strings back to England. And you, Scotty McLeod, from Scotland, you want to bring that political war to the States and start it with me? Well, that's just fine. Because I guarantee you, just like Scotland, England will own your own. You heard it right there, comment. From devastating Derek, you gotta be kidding me. We had to cut him short. He had some uh, choice words for uh, Scotty McLeod. But here he comes, and alongside him, his tag team partner, Bombshell Billy. Bombshell Billy, devastating Derek together, making up the combination of hard and heavy. But this is a singles match. Devastating Derek, there you see him, the heavyweight champion. Ooh, getting right in the face of El Diablo Blanca, Bombshell Billy. Giving him some words of advice there. This is going to be a fantastic contest. I cannot wait. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. These two have hooked up here and there. But this is the big one. This is what it's all about. The World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. I'll tell you, Johnny. Devastating Derek look ready. Scotty McLeod and El Diablo Blanc outside in his corner are the World Tag Team Champions. That dubious distinction was formerly held by hard and heavy Devastating Derek, Bombshell Billy, and now they're going to go at it one-on-one -on -one for the World Singles title. That's right. You heard at the top of the program. You heard at the top of the program, <coughs> this would be a match for the World Heavyweight title. However, to get this match, the contract stated they get a shot at the tag team title. There's Bombshell. Oh, he says hard and heavy taking it all home. Well, that will remain to be seen. That will definitely remain to be seen. I'm Shell Billy psyching up Devastating Derek. We're coming up on the apron, talking with him a little bit. Now, the, uh, the styles of these two. Scotty McLeod, a mat wrestler, mm -hmm. a technician, if you will. Devastating yep. Derek can do that, however, but he can also be a brawler. He can be a dirty player when he wants to be. If he has to, Devastating Derek can do anything. He, he, We've seen him fly high. We've seen him mat wrestle. We've seen him cheat. We've seen him do everything in here tonight. He might have to just do no oh, single leg takedown now by Scotty McLeod into a spinning toe hold. Got him now in a spinning toe hold. Now inside cradle by devastating Derek. Devastating oh only a count of one. The referee out of position for that. Devastating Derek now. Scotty McLeod nonchalantly oh. fixing the hair like this isn't oh. important to him. Devastating Derek taking him down with a couple forearms, hard forearms to the back. Ooh, and one right to the side of the face that rocked the challenger. These two men have wrestled. Oh, look at that elbow. Oh, and sends Scotty McCloud a hard down to the canvas. Hey, get off the hair. Off the hair. Off the hair. There's a big body slam coming up by Devastating Derek. Slams the challenger down to the mat. Scotty McCloud looks the worst for wear right now. They have gone at it. The world heavyweight wrestling champion, Devastating Derek, all around the country. Oh, whips him into the turnbuckle. Out. Oh, oh, a super kick. There we go. Right to the jaw, and Scotty McCloud is on his fanny. And he's taking boots to the head like you wouldn't believe. Devastating Derek has prepared for this match. And Scotty McCloud seems to be taking this a little nonchalantly. El Diablo Blanca trying to get involved a little bit. The referee telling him to get back. Oh, shot into the midsection by Devastating Derek. What's he going to do here? Whoops, gonna do? No, a reversal. Oh! Face first into that turnbuckle. You'll notice here in the UWA, we have Japanese-style turnbuckles. Uh, we got together, we asked the wrestlers, and that's what they said they like to use. So that's what we're going to use here in the UWA. Okay, Irish whip into the ropes. Off the ropes, and there's a clothesline that sends the champion down to the mat. Scotty McLeod getting his second win, so to speak, and he is in command of the heavyweight champion of the world right now. Looks like he's going to scoop him up for a big body slam, Johnny, and slams him hard down on the canvas. With authority, he, didn't, he just kind of shoved him down there. Tried to throw him right through the canvas. Oh, and there's that knee right to the back of the head. Now he's got him in uh, an arm bar. Cinching in deep in that arm bar. Now this is a this is where Scotty McLeod is his most dangerous. He's a mat wrestler and he'll he'll just dig and grind. It's like the old Anderson move where you work on the body part. Well, Scotty McLeod will do that. He'll work right down, he'll cinch right down, he'll tear that arm right off if he has a chance. Stepped over. 
adding extra leverage to the move. Dennis saying Derek now trying to get out of it. He's gonna rule it. Oh, spins him around. Oh, into a double leg takedown. Oh, now Scotty McLeod is, uh, well, he's at the mercy of the world champion. Oh, oh, is he? Oh, that could have caused problems. That could definitely cause problems for Scotty McLeod. There's no doubt about that. Bombshell Billy, you can see him running around ringside keeping his eye on Diablo Blanco. Ooh, look at those hard shots by the world heavyweight wrestling champion. Now he's got him up against the rope. Another Irish whip into the rope. Scotty McLeod off the rope. Devastating oh. Derek with a clothesline of his own that sends the challenger down to the mat. Turn about fair play. Scotty McLeod looking for a tag, it looked like. Reaching his hand out. Now I'm afraid this is not a tag team match, my friend. Referee watching Diablo, making sure he stays out of there. Derek oh! off with a big leg drop down onto Scotty McLeod. I'll tell you, this devastating Derek travels around the country defending this title oh, night in, night out. We get a cover here. His foot's right on the rope. The referee breaks it up. Fine officiating right there. I'll tell you, this, this devastating Derek travels around the country day in, day out, defending this title all around. And Scotty McLeod has always been a thorn in his oh. side for quite a while. He just open hand slapped him hard oh. right there. Oh, he's going with a kick to the midsection. Forearm to the back. Another forearm to the here's back. Where the, here's, now see, here's where the technical technical wrestler comes out of Devastating Derek. Now look at that. And, the, and the, the, rough, the rough, tough street fighting comes out. He's in his hand open at all times, though. You know, uh, I think there's a shock to the fans out there when they see wrestling. Today, but, uh, oh, the, the closed fist is supposed to be illegal here in uh, wrestling, the world of pro wrestling. A lot of people have forgotten that. Oh, an elbow to the top of the head. Oh, another one. Who's going after Diablo Blanca? He's got to keep his mind on the match. Uh, Blanca man. should not be up there. Bombshell Billy should be over there getting Blanca down. The referee should be getting Blanca down. Irish whip into the oh, corner. Yeah, Scotty yeah. McLeod jumps up. What's this going to be? Oh, wait, got him in he the catches him. Hitting combination. Oh, no. The referee out of position. you got to be getting Roll him up. Oh, again. A series of pin attempts by both men. Devin saying Derek seems to have hurt his knee. Grasping that knee, that could cause him problems later on in the match. Seems to be all right Ooh. on it now. Oh, come on. Catch them hard across the face. Scotty McLeod staggering. That was out of left field. Looks like he's going to go for a deep double underhook. That's it. There we Beautiful go. takedown. There we go. Beautiful, fine mat wrestling takedown by Devastating Derek. There's a two count. Scotty McLeod gets up. Now, Scotty, Scotty McLeod's got to have in his mind. He's got to be thinking, this is a shot at the heavyweight championship. Do? If I don't beat him now, I go back down the ladder, someone else gets the shot, and I wait again until I climb back up. So that's got to be going through his mind. He's got to be thinking, this is my shot. What do I do? I do the best I can. No doubt about that. That's absolutely 100% correct. Bombshell Billy now speaking to his partner, his best friend, giving him some uh, pointers, perhaps, on how to... Uh, about beating this guy in the club. So there's, Whip, there's a reverse. Devastating Derek into the ropes. Comes off. High backdrop. Ooh. Scotty McLeod drops the champion down. Bomb, bombshell Billy. What? No. Come on. Nope. Doesn't take advantage of it. Oh, here, Diablo Blanco coming over from behind, though. Fans off his screen. Now McLeod putting the boots to Devastating Derek. Uh, going back to that arm like you were talking about earlier, Vance. He's a, he's a great technical wrestler. He's a mat wrestler. And he'll go to that one that one uh, body part and he'll work it off he'll rip it right off if he had the chance like I said let's see he's almost got a cross face there on that almost a chicken variation of the chicken wing by Scotty McLeod oh yes. look at him he's got him wrapped up like a pretzel this McLeod look at him look at the way he's got his knees in there his legs devastating Derek I wouldn't be surprised because that's a very got to be a very very painful maneuver I wouldn't be surprised if we heard quit from devastating Derek he's a tough tough guy but I don't know how much he can take oh just rams him Turn him first into the turnbuckle. Look at, look at McLeod, Diablo. Blanco. Or yeah, excuse me, Diablo, you're correct. You gotta be kidding me. Taunting. World champion is in a world title match. Quite frankly, getting his brains beaten out right now, and Diablo Blanco has to stick his nose in there and slap the man in the back of the head. There's a whip out of the turnbuckle, hard into the buckle. Devastating Derek staggers out and runs right into a Scotty McLeod clothesline, hard. McLeod now up on the, oh, comes down with a forearm across the forehead. Cloud, not a high flyer. Using he can that, climb, he can climb the ropes with the best of them. Using that hair to his advantage, no doubt about that. Referee telling him to get off the hair. Oh, now turn him first. He goes turn him first. Now look out. Devastating Derek looks like he's going. He's got a full Nelson maneuver. Could he turn this into a uh, Northern Light Northern Suplex? Oh! 
I think he might have oh. been going for it in his repertoire, but Scotty McCloud had the uh, had the uh, the the mind presence to run him into the buckle. He ducked down and devastating Derek went head first into the top of that buckle. That, that's gotta hurt. That was a good escape by Scotty McCloud because as, as we all know, devastating Derek likes to use that move of the Northern Lights suplex to put his opponents away with it. Scotty McCloud's been on the receiving end of it more than once. He looked like he scouted that and he got himself out of it. Devastating Derek staggering around the ring right now. Scotty McCloud chasing him, staying right on top of him. A smart thing to do. Both men off the ropes now. Scotty McCloud Ooh, flying, the flying body, body press. The referee goes down, no. slightly out of position. Pulls him back up, says he wants to give him one more. You gotta be kidding me. Wait a minute, there's a reversal. <laughs> Devastating Derek with a body press. Referee down, one, he two, up. no. He pulls him up himself. What is going on here? I think this is a battle of the egos a little bit right here, Johnny, and I don't think that's a smart thing to do in a heavyweight title match. Now off the ropes. Oh, they both went for it. Oh, God. They both went for we it. We could have man. a couple cracked ribs in the, in the ring right now, folks. You've got to be kidding me. They both went for it. Oh, both these men, fantastic athletes. Scotty McLeod, of course, from uh, Scotland. He's a Highlander. He's a uh, blue blood. The other thing, Derek from New York City, his whole family, born in England. These two have had a uh, political feud as well as a personal feud going on. And They're saying Derek on top. <coughs> Scotty McLeod now. Oh, look at that kick. Spinning back kick that rocks the challenger. Scotty McLeod. Devastating Derek seems to be getting his second win, but he looks still worn down a little bit. Oh. Laying some fists into the sternum, into the rib area. Well, fans, like I said, he was using open hands earlier, but that seems to be out the window now as he's just going downstairs and upstairs with close fists. He's got to know that double body press attempt, the double body block attempt, had to wear down the ribs. He was giving shots to the ribs. Now he's wearing down the upper body of Scotty McLeod. Smart, smart man. That's why he's a world heavyweight champion. Oh! Look at that forearm. Reverses it. Oh! He hit hard. He hit hard, man. Oh! I think he might have hit him low right there. He might have hit him low. Scotty McLeod, what's he going to do now? No. Wait a minute. Wrestles him down. Scotty McLeod likes the mat. He likes to have his opponents on the mat, and if, if he has a chance, he'll take it right down just like he did there. He has him in uh, kind of a half Nelson. Now he rolls him over. Look at that. That's Referee's what I'm down for the pin attempt. One, two. two. Oh, only a count of two. One. Oh, I'm saying Derek got his shoulder up twice on two occasions there. Lucky for him. Lucky for him because Scotty. Oh, 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 a side roll. Two. two. Oh. oh. I thought he had him right there. Oklahoma I thought he might have retained roll. the title right there. Shades of uh, Dr. Dust, Steve Williams, Cowboy, uh, Bill Watts. Oh, he takes the legs right off from under him. There's a pinning combination right there. The referee being distracted by El Diablo Blanca. And El Diablo Blanca has just been leveled by Bomber. Who's that? Who is, Who is that? that? Who is that? You're kidding me. Oh, oh, he's got him in the neck. He's choking him out. Oh, he's got him in the neck. Oh, and a shot. He just choked right out. Devastating saying, Derek, you got to be kidding me. The Bob referee's jumped. being distracted over there. The referee's One, down. Two, no! 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 Oh my God! What was that? I can't believe it. Bombshell Billy was over there trying to take care of Diablo Blanca. Someone else snuck in the ring from behind, fan. You gotta be kidding me. Referee over here getting the belt from us. We've got a new world champion, man. Oh my God! Ladies and gentlemen, the new heavyweight champion of the world. There you see him, Scotty McCloud, and look at him running for cover, running before somebody sees the replay or something. Oh, fans, we will be back. Who was that big guy? I don't know. We'll be back. All right, wrestling fans. Right now, what we're going to do is bring you back exactly one week. The world title match that you just saw, of course, took place one week ago on Saturday night. Now, in the contract for that match, in order for Scotty McCloud to have that world title match, he had to put in the contract that the very next night, that would be Sunday night, he would put the tag team titles with his partner, El Diablo Blanca, on the line. Now, he agreed to do this unbeknownst to Diablo Blanca, who was not very happy about this. But keep in mind, they're going to have their new man, the Black Barbarian, who you just saw in the last match make his debut, a very auspicious debut. They're going to have him in his corner. Now then, Devastating Derek bombshell Billy, the very night after, Devastating Derek lost his world title. Odd situation, perhaps unjustly, definitely unfairly lost that world title. He is going to have to come out here and put everything behind him and try to win the world tag team titles from the new world champion, his mortal enemy, Scotty McCloud, and his partner, El Diablo Blanca. We're going to show you highlights of this, of course, because this match was almost 
one hour long. So we, do, we don't have time to show you this here on our first show. We are going to show you highlights, of course, of the last, or excuse me, of the first title defense against Hard and Heavy. Here it is right now, fans. Please stay tuned. Diablo, McLeod are in the ring. Let's go down to the two who are at ringside. Johnny Kielgood and Vance Johnson, as they are going to bring you this match. Highlights of this match. They were at ringside for this. Right now, the entrance. Devastating Derek, Bombshell, Billy, a hard and heavy. Let's take you to the highlights right now. Vance Johnson, Johnny Kilgood at ringside. From his injury, Black Barbarian at ringside. I don't know why he's even at ringside. There is no reason for that man One to be. One minute away. Oh! Oh, oh wow. heavy! There's Bombshell, Billy in the background, laying El Diablo Blanca down in the spike. Oh, close him out. El Diablo Blanca looks like he's running for cover. We got to whip into the ropes. What's going to happen here? El Diablo Blanca bails out. out. Real smart move because these two look like they're hot. Never say Derek just lost the title. Where Where it? It? Oh, Metal Bob! Bob! The longtime manager returning, Metal Bob. Martin Heavy's longtime manager. And there's a high five, double high five for us for Metal Bob. The ring there, and ooh, he jumps right in and gets on him. Bombshell Billy is uh lifts him into the ropes. Bombshell Billy. Oh, oh and a close line. Big close line, El Diablo Blanca. Now you gotta know that the hatred from just one night before happened. Oh, look at that. Metal Bob Metal and Bob. Metal Bob and the Black Barbarian. Outside the ring. Face. Now Metal Bob, I don't know. He's a manager. I don't know if he can stand up to that big monster. There's a tag. Devastating terror. Tags with Bombshell Billy. Both men got him in the corner and they Oh! Double them right back into the corner. They got to work on the back. Um, oh, really look at that forearm Derek. to the head of Diablo Blanca, the man from South Central LA. Oh, devastating Derek going after McLeod. Said something about the world title. Oh. And he was oh. caught from behind by El Diablo yeah. Blanca. Derek to the ropes oh. now. Clothesline. Blanca. Now, Blanca is strange. He's a small, wiry guy, but he's a maniac. He's a street fighter. You not know what the, I mean? Yeah, he's not the greatest oh. ring technician, but. Oh, look at that. He's a perfect just, example right there. He just sex, um, kamikazes his body right into the corner. Oh, and Metal Bob blocks it for Devastating Derek, and he gives a kick to Diablo Blanco. That's the teamwork. Metal Bob, these guys have been together so long. Do you see how he blocked that corner, Bob? Excellently done. A headlock. And here's a tag. It's Bombshell Billy. These four men, no strangers to each other. Bombshell Billy was injured uh, for quite some time. Uh, had an accident in Saginaw, Michigan, but he's back now. And uh, this is going to be... This could be their crowning achievement. Well, like Bombshell Billy making fun of El Diablo's ring music, it sounded like. These two men are hot. They are psyched up, and they're ready to go. It's ever saying Derek can come back one night after winning the World Belt. Look at him double Looking teaming him over the there. Right there. Here comes McLeod. McLeod comes in. Look at this. We got a melee. The referee getting him back. Beautifully dull, but right behind the back, a kick. I think he might have kicked him low. Bombshell Billy. Oh, there's a knee. Yeah, it's heard about fair play right there. Devastating Derek giving the knee right to the back. Trying to definitely to make that tag, but the world champion, the former world champion, is being pummeled by the world champion now. And uh, one half of the tag team champion. McLeod backing Devastating Derek into the ring. Caught oh. him hard right there. And this match has gone back and forth. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic contest this has been so far. It has gone back and forth. But now, the World Tag Team Champions are keeping Devastating Dor Derek in their corner, not allowing him to make the tag to Bombshell Billy. Not at all. And both men now, look at this. Looks like they're planning some little devious double team maneuver. He's got him right by the hair, referee. Give me a break. They tag. He's oh, Liam shots right into the ribs. Now, one night ago, that double body press attempt. Could have laid right into those ribs and cracked a couple. No doubt about that. There's no doubt. Now he's trying to make the tag reach back, but... Oh, and there's oh, the knee. Come on. You saw De uh, Devastating Derek do that earlier in the match, and he just got it turned back on. Unbelievable. There's a cover. The referee out of position. One, two. De Ooh. There has got to be two referees for this kind of match. With Metal Bob outside the ring, the Black Barbarian outside the ring. And four, com four. competitors that are hot as these guys are. Metal Bob now, what's he doing? What's Metal Bob doing up there now? For no reason, he's pulling him down. We got total chaos, and the referee's not seeing a bit. 
Devastating Derek uh, now, trying to crawl back to his corner. He has been in that ring for some 10, 15 minutes now. He he's goes up. Over, but Bombshell but is being distracted by the Black Barbarian. He's not there. Oh, oh McLeod up from behind. McLeod, what's he going to do? He's going to roll him up in a pinning combination. He rolls back over, has the, has the presence of mind to roll all the way through. And Bombshell Billy takes a shot from Scotty and McLeod. What the heck is going on here? El Diablo Blanca in the ring. This referee has got to get some control in this match. We're going to have to end it one way or another. They're the same, Derek. Irish whipped into the rope. Got oh. a flying elbow, and Derek goes down hard. He has got to make that tag, Vance. What's he doing here? Rolls him up. A bridge over. Oh, rolls over. Devastating Derek. Oh. oh, he's in the rope. Not going to get anything. And Derek looks like that. Oh, wait. Devastating Derek falls out of the ring. Oh, the barbarian. The barbarian's rolling him off. Metal, Metal Bob, Bob trying to protect him. Oh, Metal Bob taking the shot. Sacrificing himself. Taking the shot. Throwing himself over the world. Oh, excuse me. Former world heavyweight champion. This is out of control. There's no doubt about that. Come on. Saying Derek being pulled back in over backwards by Scotty McCloud. Just abusing this man who just 24 hours ago was the world champion. Was in also in a brutal contest along with Scotty McCloud. Scotty McCloud's got to be on an all time high right now. The heavyweight champion of the world, world tag team champion. You got to be kidding me. Oh, what's the muse about to bring him into the other corner but brought him into that one? Close lines him right over the ropes. Metal Bob, what's he doing now? He's pulling him off. Now, come on. Turn about fair play, but trying to get to the corner. Now he's over there, and he's in the corner now, trying to get him, trying to get to his corner a moment ago, but he stood him back up, and now, oh. wait a minute. Flying head scissors, but you're right, Vance. Both these men need to get to their corner and make a tag. Look at this. Beautiful oh. takedown. Beautiful head scissors takedown, and again, both men are down. Devastating both Derek. Men need to get to their corner. Devastating Derek, a lot worse for wear when it comes to this. He's trying to Scotty McCloud now, trying to block him. Devastating Derek gives him the shot into the midsection. He is pulling himself along those ropes, trying to get to Bombshell Billy to Scottie make McCloud. the tag. Scotty McCloud, McCloud look over. out, he's going to make the tag. Devastating Derek just has a few more feet, Tags please. El Diablo Blanca. Devastating Derek could come over and he makes oh, the he tag. Oh. Here comes Bombshell Billy, and he's going to be hot. He is he definitely is hot. Oh, oh, discus punch out of nowhere. Oh, he's he is rocking shot. Diablo Blanca. Blanco now. Irish whip in, and oh. Bombshell with two. Double thrust to the throat. Bombshell. Oh, and another elbow across the throat. He's he going covers a one, one, two. No, he doesn't oh. get him. Scotty McCloud in there. Look, devastating Derek. Blocking him. Look out. We got something. We got something going on for sure, ladies and gentlemen. It is a melee. Four men in the ring at once. Metal Bob keeping his eye on the Black Barbarian. Black Barbarian oh. keeping his eye on Metal Bob. Oh, Bombshell Billy crushed El Diablo Blanca into the corner, and he reverses it. And we got a double reverse, a triple reverse. What are these two doing? Reverse. What's it? Oh. Bombshell Billy goes sternum first into the turnbuckle. Just goes to show you neither man can get the advantage there. Oh, they were saying Derek. Oh. And Diablo Blanca off the ropes. He is out of his mind, devastating Derek at ringside. No! <sighs> Almost got three. I'm sweating right here in the commentating booth, Johnny. This is out of control. This match is out of control, fans. I have never seen action quite like this. All four men are just pummeling each other. Ooh. And I... Oh, oh, shades of the Funk family. Spinning toe hold. Kicks right him to off the into the ropes. Leg trips him down. Oh, Bombshell always has the presence of mind no matter where he is to get on top of his opponent. Oh, and the tag is made in. Billy. Look at this. Come on in. Look at He's going to hold the ropes open for him. Yeah, that's right. Oh! Oh! He caught him a good one right there. And he whips it. Oh, oh, head first into the, the turnbuckle. turnbuckle. What's he going to do here? Bombshell. Oh, shoulder block. 270 plus pounds driving into that turnbuckle. That's got to hurt. And then, I, I'm telling you, if the Black, Barbar Black Barbarian's got to hold the referee trying to get Bob out of the, the ring. Barbarian's got him. Metal Bob holds oh. him down. McLeod runs into the Barbarian and devastating oh. Derek. Super kick to Diablo. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. That greco roman oh. car driver he was talking about. He covers him. One, two, the referee. Wait. He got him. Did he get him? He got him. Did he get him? He got him. He got him. He got him. He got him. All right. We got new tag team champions of the world. You've got to be kidding me. The Barbarian had a hold of Devastating Derek. Scotty McCloud was coming in for the knee. Uh, Metal Bob pulled the Barbarian off the apron. Oh! oh, there's a little something to think about El Diablo while you're recuperating. Bombshell Billy looking, calling for the straps. Where are the belts? Can, can we get the... There they are, Metal Bob's Metal got Bob. him. 
He grabs the straps, and the tag team champions of the world are now hard and heavy. Bound oh, wait a minute. What's, wait a minute. Vance, there. Vance, what's going on back here? What's going on back here, Vance? If we could get the cameraman to get... There it is. Oh! Oh, my... Oh! The oh. champion of the world, Metal Bob. Oh, you're kidding me. Metal Bob rushing in. It looked like Hard and Heavy called him off. Oh, the Barbarian and Diablo have just waylaid the world champion Scotty McCloud. Talk about the ultimate backstabbing. These two can't be trusted at all, ever, at any time. I never knew that El Diablo Blanca to be a trusted man. He's a little weasel as far as I'm concerned. Oh, fans, we've got new world tag team champions in Bombshell Billy and Devastating Derek. A turn by, Ma, by Diablo and Barbarian on McCloud. Fantastic action, fans. Look at Scotty McCloud now. I can't... Devastating Derek, is he getting back in the race? Fans, uh, I am Johnny Kilgood, of course. You have seen what has taken place the last couple of weeks. Myself and Vance Johnson was ring were ringside for all those seven matches that have uh, been took place uh, last week. Actually, that was last week. Last Saturday, you saw the world title match. Last Sunday, you saw the tag team title match. But we're live right now. And there comes a good six-man tag team match. We got the Disco Kid, the big war eagle. And look at the man from Mexico. Well, he's, he's from Mexico, but he's from the Lone Star State. Yep, and he's in for a very special attraction here this week for the inaugural show of Ringmasters, the United Wrestling Alliance inaugural Ringmasters telecast. This is fantastic. So far, we've shown you what it takes place like the Lone Star State. The Lone Star State is going to be the Lone Star State. The Lone Star State is going to be the Lone Star State. The Lone Star State is going to be the Lone Star State. The Lone Star State is going to be the Lone Star State. The Lone Star State is going to be the Lone Star State. The Lone Star State is going to be the Lone Star State. them both fly spin fly you know anything like that i mean they're airborne half the time we're now waiting for the fall. here they come they're now just about ready for the arrival of thunder tiger the mystic the former japanese tag team champions of uh held tag team championships all over the place and the newcomers that they're bringing in to help them tonight the russian dragon Don't know much about him, but I know uh, he is trained in Sambo, the uh, Russian Art self defense. Uh, all three of these men are trained in the Russian Art different styles, different techniques. There's a flip over by Thunder Tiger. Look at him. Oh, he's out of control out there. Oh. All right, the big war eagle. It looks like the, the war eagle's going to start it off, maybe. Yeah? The war eagle. You want to talk about a big man. He is from North Carolina. <laughs> he is giant. He is a second-generation athlete. And he is a fantastic wrestler. Look at what's him in now. Irish oh! Throw. Big clothesline by the war eagle. Let's not forget all last year, Thunder Tiger and the war eagle. Had a heck of a battle going on today. Yeah, with them. Certainly did. Certainly did. They uh, they shooted throughout the United Wrestling Alliance, and uh, they don't they haven't forgotten. War Eagle hasn't forgotten. You can tell by the look on his face. What's well, that? The Mystic, of course, former Intercontinental TV Champion, lost that title to the War Eagle. The War Eagle, of course, uh, had his leg broken in that match. Uh, subsequently, oh. MOB ended up uh, winning the title in the tournament. Mark Stagg won it from him. We're going to see that rematch here tonight between Mark Stagg and MOB. Absolutely. Oh. A little history for you, the UWA fan. So all these men have an issue going in here, especially War Eagle and the Mystic and Thunder Tiger. Now here comes the Mystic off the rope. Ooh. And that Moonstruck, he's just dancing around, happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? He is a fantastic attraction from uh, down south of the border. Uh, friends with uh, a lot of athletes here who have uh, wrestled with him down in AAA and EMLL. Oh, 
Oh, and they asked him to come up and uh, the war, the big warrior coming right at you. Oh, the mystic laying in some hard chop. Was that across the throat? Now that could be illegal. I don't know. The mystic laying in a chop across the top of the head. The war eagle is not no stranger to chop. Looks like he's got a uh, nerve hold there, right down into the trapezius muscles, and that is not fun. Definitely not fun. Tags in to the Russian Dragon. First chance to see him here. Ooh. Double sledge across the back. He's laying in a quick kick. We've got to keep this big. We've got to keep this big man down, uh, because if they let him get up, oh, a kick. He didn't catch him uh, as well as I think he wanted to, but uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what did catch him, and that was a uh, little shot to the uh, ribs by uh, Thunder Tiger on the outside of him. Russian Dragon up now. Ooh, the War Eagle catches him as he's up on the rope. He's not afraid to fight out of a corner of three guys. Here comes Thunder Tiger back into oh, the ring. The War Eagle brings him over, and he'll tag with Moonstruck. Our first look at the Mexican superstar. Look at him dancing around. Oh! Lays it in on Thunder Tiger. Oh! Dancing, dancing around. Oh. Look at that. Having a good time out there against Thunder Tiger. Fans, in case you're wondering about the name Thunder oh, Tiger. Oh, oh, over the ropes goes Thunder Tiger. I'll tell you this Moonstruck reminds me of. He's a Mexican Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. That's what he reminds me of. I was going to say that myself. Thunder Tiger. Oh, go bring him in. Bring him oh. in hard way. Took his name from his two favorite athletes, his two idols, uh, Tiger Mask and Yushin oh. Thunder Liger. He took the names from both of his idols uh, over in Japan oh. and came up with Thunder Tiger. Oh, oh. oh. Post oh, wow. Moonstruck really laying in the... I would say they're open hand uh, slaps to the face, but they're really rocking Thunder Tiger. The Disco Kid, here's our first look at this young man. You don't think an open hand slap will uh, can hurt you? Ooh. Ask John Stossel. There's our double clothesline across the chest of Thunder Tiger and the Disco Kid picking him up now. The Disco Kid, now he's a young guy here. He's just, uh, he's fairly new to the oh. WA, but he's got a lot of oh. tenacity, he's got a lot of drive. Follows him in with a tag, with a, excuse me, with a uh, clothesline. What's he doing here? Shot to the head. Just oh. crumples him down on the mat, pushes him down. What's he going to do here? The disco kid climbing up. I told you he could be a high flyer. Oh, referee kind of yeah. in the way, fans, but he gave him a press to the back. Yeah. Tiger Brown holding his back now. Back. Tiger better make that tag because he's looking a little, oh, oh. almost in the referee on the way there. Oh, there's a drop Beautiful kick. Beautiful drop kick by Disco Kid. Now I'll tell you something. I thought that I thought this disco stuff was out, Johnny. Don't ask me. As you know, I went to a club the other night here uh, locally, and I saw an actual disco band playing. The place was packed. I couldn't believe it. The disco kid, of course, was the center of attention, doing all the moves. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, there's a clothesline across the chest of the disco kid. As he goes out there every week, hope maybe we can get a, a hammer down there, crew down there. You never Take know. the disco kid. DWA always on the road. Always on the road. Thunder Tiger now scaling the ropes. What's he going to do? Got him by the hand. Oh! Beautifully done. Beautifully done. He kind of fell down himself and whipped him over in an Irish whip kind of maneuver out of the corner. That's disco the kid has his hang out. Moonstruck and the Russian Dragon. Oh! Catches him before he can get through the ropes. What a, what a clash. What a bunch of different styles here. We have a Mexican. We have a Japanese. We have a Russian. We have a just regular old American. We've got International in flavor here in the UWA. Oh, there's no doubt about that. But let's talk about very briefly what's coming up next, and that's the main event. The Intercontinental Television Heavyweight Championship, a rematch for that title, as MLB tries to regain his title from Mark Stagg. That ought to be a fantastic contest. MLB, the master of brutality, a man who's not to be... Oh! Beautiful DDT, excuse me. Moonstruck covers him, and we got a three count. There it is. The team of Moonstruck, Disco Kid, and the War Eagle are going to take it right there. Oh, real quick, the MOB. What's going on in the background? We've seen this last week, not again. Oh! Come on. They're stopping oh. on the Russian Dragon. What are they doing? Wait, the Disco Kid and the War Eagle come to the aid, and Moonstruck. Oh. Look, Moonstruck's going to go down and see if the Russian Dragon's okay. Fans, we will be back. Oh, with the main event. Oh, oh. oh, we will be right. We'll be back. You gotta be kidding me. We got a melee. Fans, this is it. The uh, main event. What you have been waiting for. MLB is gonna try to regain his international television title from Mark Stack. Coming out 
El Diablo Blue. He doesn't know they were former players, but he was a bodyguard of uh, El Diablo before he started his own way. So coming out to the music of El Diablo Blanco. Uh, here we go. He's a big uh, monster. Here we go. 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 Well, I, I, I'm speechless when I see MOB because I know how devastating he is. When he was a little black, he was a little black. He was a little black. Diablo was right. He put a plastic bag for the world champion devastating Jared's head. Almost, almost killed him, quite frankly. Uh, just a brutal man. I wouldn't have heard something like that at home, folks. I'll tell you I that right now. Think so. I wouldn't think so. The MOB. Master of brutality, look at him. He wears that mask over his face. He says he can't be seen for some reason or another. He's a I, large man. He is a large man, the referee. Now he's got that nightclub. Now we have seen him use that before many times uh, against his opponents. When are the referees going to... See, there's a referee right there, a little skittish of it. One of the, whoa! Hey now. Oh, look out, look out. MOB swinging the club. Be back out of the way. We've got to get that. Uh-oh. You hear the music of the Intercontinental TV champion. And he'll be making his way out to the ring momentarily. Mark Stagg, he's running around the ring. Look at him, he's out of his mind here. He's okay, son. Ha, ha, ha. He's so heavy to have that. Rematch we have been waiting for anxiously for quite some time, and this is gonna be it. Reverie I can't wait. The knee pads of Stag. Tell him to put that stick away, Stag says. Stag has been on the receiving end of that stick a couple times here. Stag warming up. Bouncing off the rope, getting warmed up. He is ready. You know why? Because now, before, he didn't have the confidence. He didn't know if he could beat MOB. Now he has the confidence, he knows he can beat this man, he's done it once, he can do it again. This is going to be a great match, fans. If you like wrestling, if you like action, if you like brawling, this is, uh, this is, I don't know if this is the right term, but this is the, uh, classic battle of good versus evil, because Mark Stagg is everything, uh, morally hey, 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 that you could want to be where MLB is exactly the opposite. Absolutely. Hey. Look at that, he pushes him right off, pushes him off him as he backs him up against the rope. Mark Stagg not taking his eyes off MOB. He is prepared. They lock up again. Backs MOB, that's strange. He backed him up into the ropes. I thought he, oh, oh. see, there it is. I was just going to say, I thought MOB had him on power. And that was the case as he shoved Mark Stagg out of the corner. Lock up again. He backs the big MOB. MOB turns him around. What's he going to do? What? MOB. Big forearm straight to the side of the head. And MOB laying the boots in now on Mark Stagg, the Intercontinental TV champion. MOB now pulls him out of the corner. And he's going to whip him. Irish whip across the corner. Mark Stagg reverses it. MOB hard into the corner. And Mark Stagg follows in with a clothesline. Beautifully done. And here's a big hip toss, hip toss out of the corner. And MOB looks to be in trouble a little bit. Snap mare. Flips MOB over. Now into a... Uh, front transfer, excuse me, into a uh, headlock. Give it up? MLB says, no, 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 my young and friend, he's how, not going to give up. Look how Mark Stagg had his, his legs. One, two. Only his legs two. apart, he had them spread apart, bracing. There goes the MLB's, uh, the one of his right scarves, right? one of his 15 scarves that he's wearing out there just came off. Referee gets that out of the ring, so uh, that can't be used. Very unorthodox to fire by MLB. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. Off the ropes, and there's a big clothesline. That, ooh, it rocks MOB, but it doesn't oh. knock him down. There's another one. There's two, and M oh, Mark Stagg, oh. the third one. Oh, third one's the charm, and it knocks MOB, the master of brutality, down. Mark Stagg bounces off the ropes, comes off with a big elbow down. There's a cover, one, two, and he only gets two. Mark there's Stagg, two. you can still see him wrestling cautiously. He really is. He's oh. taking his time. He's being very methodical, very slow coming off the ropes, oh. making sure oh. he doesn't make any oh. mistakes like that. Caught him right like in the that. eyes. Right in the eyes, folks. MOB will take advantage immediately, if not sooner. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed our inaugural edition of UWA Ringmaster. Oh! oh.
beautiful back kick there, back leg larry it looked like. I think uh, we've uh, done a job of bringing you up to date on the world title situation, the tag team title situation. We now have, uh, we know where the champions are. Happened just last week, and of course, the Intercontinental Television Championship being contested right now as we speak. OB losing his footing on the rope, but he'll Gets climb back, back up. up. Never quits this guy. Just waiting for, look at him, just standing up there waiting for Stagg Very to get. Very methodical, oh. down across the back, back of the neck of uh, Mark Stagg, the Intercontinental Television Champion. This is a championship match, folks. We know nothing about MOB. He's very mysterious, he, and that's the way he likes it. That's the way he wants it. MOB will back him up. Looks like he's got him right around the throat. He's choking him. He's bending him right back. Right across the turnbuckle. Stag now. Stag is, a, pardon the pun, he's staggering. Oh, rams him in head first. Mark Stag looks to be a... Uh, Groggy on his feet. MOB choking the life out of him a second ago, and there it is again. He's choking him again. It's MOB. I wouldn't say he's a mat technician. No, no, my not any, not No any doubt yet, about so. that. I know. MOB's got something. He just put it back in his pocket. I couldn't see what it was, Vance. Did you uh, get a glimpse of it? I didn't see it, but I saw him fiddling around in his pocket. Mark Stagg. Wouldn't be surprised if it was a pair of brass knucks, a chain, a pipe. Whoa. It could be anything. Ooh. He comes off and he's ooh, he's laying in the shots, forearm shots to the chest. Not them all down, trying to, him. trying to get MOB down. MOB will not go down that easy. Irish whip into the ropes. Ooh. Oh! Catches him right in the midsection. Mark Stagg going up, going up. He's gonna go up top. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh he, he catches down. him in the back. Catches him back oh. and drops him immediately down. Oh! oh. Shots into the ribs and MOB is notorious oh. for his rib work. There's no doubt about it. MLB, M -O, excuse me, Johnny. MOB worked on those ribs in the match where Mark Stagg won the title, yep. and I would have to say they're not 100% that better. And if you think I'm kidding about his work when it comes to the ribs, he has broken the ribs of the world champ, the former world champion, Devastating Derek. He injured the ribs of Bombshell Billy. He injured the ribs of Mark Stagg. He's got him choking on the ropes now. What's he doing? Oh, he, oh he's got that leg all the way across the head of Mark Stagg across the top rope. Not only is the pressure of the neck going on the rope, but he's got 275-pound ham hock across the neck. That's going to take it out of you. That's going to cut across the carotid artery and really do some damage to Mark Stagg, who is slow getting to his feet. MLB methodic, just waiting for those punches. Look at him. Oh! Come on. Very methodical wrestler. He's a thinker. He's not a stupid man. No, no, no. Wait a minute. He just took off that bandana. Oh. We're going to see what he's got. What's he going to do with that bandana? What's he doing? He's choking him with it. Give me a break, referee! Come on! Oh! Oh my God! He throws it right in his face. Mark Stagg is out. Look at, look at this. This man's whole game plan is choking, and then he chokes, and when he's done with that, he goes back to choking, Johnny. Which reminds me, we are getting close to the end of our broadcast here this week. Should, for any reason, we have to go off there before this match ends, we will certainly bring it to you in its entirety. The ending next week on next week's broadcaster in the uwa we have some great matches that are going to be coming up next week Indeed we do the russian dragon oh, will be oh. taken on after what you saw earlier we just had word that the russian dragon is challenged yes he has challenged thunder tiger to a one-on-one -on -one contest we are going to see that here next week listen to this johnny also just in the tag team champions hard and heavy devastating one, two, three, derek bombshell and billy and have roll. agreed to defend their titles Right here on UWA Ringmasters, against who you ask? El Diablo Blanca and the Black Barbarian. You've got to be kidding me. Our first chance of seeing the Black Barbarian in the ring. I'm scared of that man. He's got, He's got something right there. Look at him. He's, He's got, got something. He's hiding something behind his back. Give me a break, referee. He has got a chain. Did he ditch it? What did he do with it? He has got a chain. Mark Stagg now. Staggering over in the corner. Now, both men look like they may be down oh. now. Ooh. There's a forearm. Mark Ooh. Stagg laying in forearms across Ooh. the chest. Again. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Oh. MOB caught in the ropes the hard way, and that's Mark Stagg is out of control. He just sees this man who's punched in his ribs. He's choked him 75% of this match, and now he's got the man tied in the ropes. He's going to lay in the kick. He's going to give him punches. something here. MOB. Oh, oh, Stagg. Oh, I think he caught his throat right across the top of the rope. I'm not sure. Oh, fan. Caught his throat or face right across the rope. Oh, my God. Mark Stagg is down, and he's out on the outside of the ring on the hardwood floor. <laughs> hey! He's got the nice stick. He's got that stick. Stagg's got the chain. Oh! Oh! 
Qualified, he just said, I can only see. Mark Stagg keeps a, you gotta, you gotta think Andrew. that Mark Stagg's not gonna accept this as a, as a good victory. All right, fans, next week on United Wrestling Alliance Ringmasters, we have a great, a great set of uh, matches for you. We got matches you wouldn't believe. We announced two of them already. We got the Thunder Tiger in there one-on-one -on -one with the man who he turned on along with his partner tonight, the Russian Dragon. One-on-one, -on -one, the Russian Dragon against Thunder Tiger. Two high flyers, Johnny. Also, we're going to see the great tag team match that we have been talking about ever since Barbarian lost. Cost, Devastating Derek, that world title. He's going to be taking on Devastating Derek and his partner, Bombshell Billy, for the tag team titles along with Diablo Blanc. you got to be kidding me. Just signed. Mark Stagg demanding demanding an intercontinental television title match next week against the MOB no disqualification this is going to be a fantastic uh, card fans don't miss it next week on United Wrestling Alliance Ringmasters for Vance Johnson I'm Johnny Kilgood and we'll see you next week bye bye now